Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we will be going over the full window sticker and exactly what I paid for my brand new 2023 Toyota Tundra Platinum. So guys, I like doing videos like this because one, you guys are really interested on what people are paying for new vehicles these days, especially in the crazy market. And I also love seeing the comment section of all the random internet financial experts out there telling someone that they have no idea what their life is about, that they're an idiot, for buying an expensive truck in today's world, but whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna go over the window sticker for you guys in this video, and also I have my paper right here telling you how much I put down on the truck, my APR, and also how many months I financed this truck for. So first, let's go over the window sticker. We're gonna start with all the standard equipment that this truck has. This is a Platinum Tundra. It does not have the iForce Max motor. We have the normal iForce engine, it is a four-wheel drive, part-time truck. The Platinum does not get the TRD off-road treatment, which does suck. And this truck, I got a lot of questions. I failed to mention it. This truck just has the normal multi-link rear suspension. I do not have the airbags on this truck. So all those standard features bring the MSRP, the base manufacturer's suggested retail price to $63,000. $5. So the only options that were added to this truck as it was being built going down the assembly line was for $290 was the PVM, the panoramic view monitoring system. That's a full 360 camera and the tow mirrors for $290. And then also the power running boards and the power bed step. These options are awesome. I like the tow mirrors in this truck way better than the tow mirrors on the Sequoia. It looks proportionate on the Tundra. They're actually functional on the Tundra. I could see like everything behind me on it too. The 360 camera view, perfect for such a big truck while you're parking. And the automatic steps are awesome. They swing out super far to the point where you can actually use them as a step. The bed step is awesome. That saves me a mod and an install I have to do in the future, and it's automatic. Very, very cool. Adding those things to the price brings our total MSRP to 64,645. Now on this right side of the column is some things that I try to avoid if possible. If you're quote unquote, ordering a vehicle and you can catch it in time like this one was pretty much already built already at the port just waiting to get to toyota but if you could negate some of this stuff it would be awesome because this is where a lot of fees and extra bs starts to rack up spray and bed liner for 700 bucks not the end of the world but not the best price also i did want to uh, do spray and bed liner for this six and a half foot bed the bed in my sr5 that i had before this it was awesome the composite bed you could just slide stuff up on easy for putting stuff into the truck but at the same time crap is going to slide around in the bed of the truck so a spray and bed liner was a must i just think 700 dollars is a little steep for it the toyota guard platinum ugh, okay they spray some stuff on your vehicle it's not the best stuff in my personal opinion uh, but you get two more oil changes and uh, filter changes four tire rotations the roadside all this all this extra stuff which it's whatever, but it's 700 bucks, but that could have been $700 well spent somewhere else. And then they got me with the $73 phone cables, which right now that's not horrible because you actually get four cables now in it. You get two USB-A um, ones that are USB-A to USB-C, USB-A to iPhone, and then two other USB-C ones, one USB-C to iPhone, the other USB-C to USB-C. So bringing that total plus delivery and handling fees, total MSRP of this Tundra Platinum is $67,911. So what the heck did you pay for the truck, John? Well, Panama City Toyota guys, if you guys want to use them, Mark Barton, he is my salesman. He's been freaking awesome with all the vehicles that I've bought from them in the last couple months. But I paid MSRP for this truck minus 2,500 bucks, okay? So got this Tundra under MSRP. Now granted, that may not be for everyone, right? I've bought two pretty expensive vehicles from them in the last two months and also my SR5 Tundra before that. So I have an established relationship at this dealership. I send them people all the time. So just keep that in mind, you know, when you're shopping around. But regardless, Panama City Toyota does MSRP, whether it's a TRD Pro whether it's a Corolla or whatever, and they may have room to negotiate on certain vehicles, okay? So this one was coming in. It wasn't pre-sold like all the other Tundras were. That is the price that I got for the Tundra. MSRP, 
minus a couple thousand. Could not be any more happy for that for this truck and I didn't have to wait which is awesome. Now the finance stuff. Keyboard warrior, financial warriors, get ready. How much did I put down on this truck? I put $20,000 down. I put $20,000 down on a depreciating asset, okay? But now, before you go into the comment section, calling me an idiot, I'm talking about you financial people, I have a YouTube on these vehicles. The, the YouTube pays the car payments of these vehicles, which I am so thankful for that you guys like this content enough, you wanna learn about this content and everything like that, that the YouTube covers it. Now, why did I put so much money down though? Well, it was to bring that monthly payment down by a lot because interest rates still are pretty high and I wanted to bring the monthly payment down a lot because my wife and I, we're in real estate and if you guys know anything about real estate or purchasing big stuff, huge things, come into debt to income ratio. So the more debt you have out there, doesn't matter how much you make, if they start to get super close to each other, you can't buy stuff. So I'd rather put money down on this to bring that debt to income way down because you guys know I have quite a few vehicles for this YouTube channel. So I wanted to bring that debt to income way down so if we were to buy a house or a condo or something to invest in in like two, three months, I don't have a crazy car note for this. Putting a big amount of money down though right now while rates are very high is also another play in this too because I was able to finance this for 60 months at 5.6% APR. Now the next tier above that, if it was 72 months, that APR jumped up to 6.9 like or something like that. Absolutely insane. It was only a difference of like $90 a month or something like that. But the term of the loan, I was spending over $4,000 more in interest. Now, you can refinance vehicles. If rates go down into like the threes or fours again, yeah, I'm obviously gonna refinance to get my monthly payment even lower than what it is. But for right now, that is what I'm at. The reason I put so much money down is because I do plan to keep this truck for two years, three years, however long it takes Toyota to do a refresh on this Tundra. That's how long I plan to keep this truck. So having a lower initial monthly payment, knocking the price down by 20 grand on this truck too. So I'm not, you know, crazy invested into it with so much money like owed on the truck. I hope that makes sense. So some of you guys are shopping around. Uh, you guys don't want high interest rates. Well, a way to combat that is unfortunately to put a decent amount of money down to bring it down to, you know, 48 months, 60 months, whatever you can handle financial wise to have a lower percentage APR because APRs right now, if you're, if, if, if you're financing anything for 72 months plus, you are just getting you're getting shafted with APRs. They're, they're insane right now still. So guys, hope this video helped you out. Let me know that I'm an idiot down in the comment section or tell me you're excited about this Tundra as much as I am. And I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.